students already we have seen two antibiotics under anti neoplastic agents so in this class we are going to see the other three antibiotics that are used in the treatment of cancer the first one is called mitomycin c so this is the structure of mitomycin c so what it is it is having two nitrogens with four rings that's why it is called as di azar tetracycle so what is meant by di azar tetracycle having two nitrogens and having four rings one six membered two five membered and one three membered that's why it is called di azar tetracycle and here three groups are respond i mean uh, three three moieties are responsible for anti cancer activity so they are the first one is quinone moiety so this is called as quinone moiety and second one is azeridinium uh, ring so what is meant by azeridinium ring that is called as a three membered heterocyclic ring having nitrogen as the heteroatom so that is called as azeridinium ring and the third one is carbamate carbamate ester so these three no quinone moiety azeridinium ring and carbamate these three are responsible for anti cancer activity and this drug is used in the treatment of gastric and pancreatic carcinoma now we'll see mechanism of action now mitomycin c this mitomycin c is unreactive in the neutral state so on chemical or enzymatic uh, reduction it would be converted to hydroquinone moiety by means of uh, loss of methanol it would be converted to indolo hydroquinone and this acts as a bifunctional alkylating agent that is it is bound to dna and undergo successive redox cycles that is uh, reduction and oxidation cycles and generate ros already we have come across ros what is ros reactive oxygen species what are they they are superoxide radical anion hydrogen peroxide and hydroxy radical these are um, reactive oxygen species degrade the dna so that is the mechanism of action of mitomycin next is dactinomycin that is otherwise called as actinomycin d this is the structure of dactinomycin it is the fusion of three rings so first ring already we have known that is called phenyl second one is having oxygen and nitrogen that's why oxaza and third one is having ketone that's why it is called phenyl oxazone totally can be called phenoxazone the numbering starts from here 1 2 3 4 here 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this would be the numbering ketone is present in third position so if it is a ketone that should have a suffix on that's why it is called 3 phenoxazone and here first and eighth position no that is having carboxylic acid so that is the parent is having carboxylic acid in the first and eighth position and that two positions are bonded to a pentapeptide lactone here also here also here and here so first and eighth positions are bonded to a pentapeptide lactone so what is meant by pentapeptide that is having five amino acids what are they l threonine d valine l proline sarcosine and l methyl valine how it forms lactone the first amino acid no that is uh, l threonine that is having hydroxy group that forms part with l methyl valine for the formation of lactone this threonine is also having nh2 group that nh2 group binds with the carboxylic acid and there may be removal of one molecule of water so here we are getting amide linkage here co here nh nh in threonine okay so what is uh, what is present here that may be amide linkage here also in first position also there may be amide linkage and um what um, before that we have to know what is meant by isoactinomycin and isoactinomycin what is meant by isoactinomycin if the two pentapeptides know that would be that would be identical means that is called isoactinomycin that would be different means that can be called anisoactinomycin look at the structure of dactinomycin here that would be identical these two are identical that's why it is coming under isoactinomycin we'll see the uses it is used in the treatment of trophoblastic tumor wilms tumor and wings tumor now we'll see the mechanism of action of dactinomycin this dactinomycin know that intercalates into the double helical dna after intercalation it inserts phenoxazone chromophore that is phenoxazone moiety to fix between the two successive base pairs already we have seen the base pairs one is at and another one is gc so between that it inserts the phenoxazone moiety here after insertion what happens the guanine guanine present in the dna you know so that is having amino group 
that amino group can hydrogen bond with the carbonyl group of threonine that is present in actinomycin. Actinomycin is having threonine and that one is having carbonyl. So this carbonyl uh, uh, binds with amino group to form a hydrogen bond. So uh, because of that it makes the DNA less effective. So that is the mechanism of action of dactinomycin. Next is plicamycin. This is the structure of a plicamycin. It is having three rings, fusion of three rings. And numbering starts from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this is 10. Okay. So, first portion is having ketone, second portion is having glycosidic linkage that is ether linkage, so oxygen that is connected to olivose, two molecules of olivose with D micarose, and third portion is having. Uh, 5 carbons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that can be called as pentanyl side chain. Pentane oil, that is why pentanyl. Alkyl, no, that is why it is called pentanyl side chain. And 6th um, portion is also having glycosidic linkage and that is having 2 molecules of olivo. 7th is having methyl group. 8th and 9th are having hydroxy group. So, that will be the structure of plicamycin. Now, we will see the other names of plicamycin. It, they are mithramycin, mithrazin and aureolic acid. It is obtained from streptomyces plicatus. It is also coming under aureolic acid group of antibiotic. What is meant by aureolic acid group compounds? They are having an A glycone, not glycones, A glycone having an A glycone with two carbohydrate chains. So, this would be the A glycone present here. So, this is the A glycone and it is having two carboxylic sorry carbohydrate groups. So, this is one and this is one. Okay, So, having two carbohydrate chains. What is the A glycone present here? This can be called as tetrahydroanthracin. Already we have known what is meant by anthracin. Fusion now three benzene rings that can be called anthracin. For the anthracin it is having two more double bonds here. But here that two are absent that is why it is called tetrahydro already we have known for a bond we have to add two hydrogens that is why it is called tetrahydro for the absence of two bonds it is called tetrahydroanthracin derivative and it is having three phenolic uh, hydroxy groups one at a six position another at eighth and last at ninth this second portion oh, it is not this oh no it is not coming under phenolic hydroxy group because this ring is not a phenyl one only 6th, 8th and 9th these 3 are coming under phenolic hydroxy groups. What are the carbohydrates present here? Here it would be olivose, here also olivose and d -micarose. So, what are the carbohydrates present here? One would be olivose and another would be d -micarose. Now, we will see the uses. It is used in the treatment of Paget's disease and hypercalcemia. That is all about antibiotics used in the treatment of malignant diseases. Thank you.